All right, so we're going to draw drawing 2-8 now. Uh, in the previous drawing, we set our, um, our snap settings, our snap and our grid, we set it at 0.125. Maybe helpful to change that snap settings. Maybe helpful to change this back to 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Changing x, y. Snap back to 0.25, and that was just right here and snap settings. Uh, and we're going to draw this garage, just like a mechanics garage. And I'm just going to use the line to do it. I'm going to start by drawing a big. And then I'm going to go one grid mark inside that. This is going to be the thickness of the exterior wall that goes all the way around this garage. I'm then going to kind of divide this into thirds. It looks like the bathroom storage area office is about one third, and the drawn and the main garage is about two thirds. So let me just for a second turn off post snap. I'm going to estimate where one third is. This area also in thirds, and I'm just eyeballing this. There's no. Uh, notice I'm drawing wall thickness. Um, so I've got my office area, my restroom area, and my storage area, and the walls that connect them all. I'm just going to trim inside my walls like this. Um, you can put in the door. I'm going to let you put in the lines for the doors. Just trim out the doors. Uh, you can put the restroom door in. You can do the office furniture using a polygon and a rectangle. You can do the toilet and the sink in the bathroom using uh, an ellipse and a rectangle. The sink is just a couple of rectangles and a circle. Shelving in the storage area, you can do that. Um, the reference manuals may be a little tricky, but you can figure that out also. But I will show you how to do the windows, the doors, and the hoist. Okay, I'm going to start by putting in a couple of lines, edges of my windows, and a couple of lines for my right side, or sorry, my left side garage door. I'm then going to take the mirror command and I'm going to mirror my garage door over to this side. So I have to make sure I put my OSNAP settings back on. I'm going to go mirror, two edges of my garage door, enter. And I'm going to use the midpoint, the midpoint of this line. Can't get straight up, so I'm going to turn the snap off. There's my two garage doors. Now I'm going to turn OSNAP back off and I'm going to draw two lines that are going to represent the windows and the two garage doors. Inside my wall here, and I'm just drawing two lines like this. And here's why. I went inside all like that because watch this when I trim. Care of my garage doors and my windows all at the same time. And the last thing is we're going to draw a hoist. Now the hoist has to be centered in the middle of your garage door because you don't want to have to drive your car in, put it on the hoist, but have to go in at an angle. So I'm going to turn OSNAP back on. I'm going to draw a reference line from the center of my door. Well, I'm doing that because I'm going to zoom in on this area. I need to be able to see where the center of the door is. So I'm going to start with 
circle, right in the middle, just a small circle. I'm also going to start with a polygon. It's a six sided polygon. Each one and like that. And I'm going to go not from the middle, but I'm going to go slightly above and kind of like the over. I want to go to the middle here. Okay. Now I'm going to create the entire hoist from this arm. So I'm going to go near these pieces, enter from the center of my hoist. I'm going to come straight over, click, and now. And then I'm going to take a mirror again, mirror. These center, and I'm going to use center of my circle. You can change this to a hidden line. Uh, you know how to do that. Go other, load in a hidden line, change your circle to a hidden line, and then watch copy this entire thing. Enter, grab it at the bottom, drop it on the middle of this one. Delete out your reference lines. And you've got your two points centered in the middle of your garage doors perfectly. You can add in all your labels, finish your cabinets up here and your workbench, and you're good to go. Hopefully that was helpful.